Have you heard all the buzz about September 23rd, 2023? If you're a truth seeker, you might have noticed that this particular date is repeatedly mentioned in movies, television shows, in the lyrics of popular songs, and even in some video games. Before we get to the soft disclosures from Hollywood, let's hear what Jason Brashears of Archaics says about this date. Jason has talked about the date of September 23rd, 2023 in detail and has predicted pandemonium due to a possible World Wide Web shutdown. To quote Jason, according to the date sequence predictive analytics that I did on 2023, it's a very short break, but it's just long enough to remove a lot of material from the internet that they don't want on the internet. That's the way I see it. It's a temporary short break. However, that little 10 day or 12 day or however many days, I'm assuming a week to 10 days, that little period is going to be pandemonium. While this might not seem like a worldwide emergency, Jason can foresee the damage of this seemingly small problem. To quote Jason, you can imagine when hundreds of millions of people who have relied on the internet every single day have nothing to do anymore. When law enforcement and EMS can't respond to calls because they are just completely overwhelmed, you can imagine how crime will spike in 24 hours. I'm not saying this is going to continue. I believe civilization and infrastructure will stabilize after that because this is a staged event to get things in position where they want to be before May of 2040. According to Jason, this staged Carrington event in September 2023 is all part of the elite plan. To quote Jason, There's a utopia coming, but we've got to go through some more BS in the next 18 months before that happens. A fabulous errant and fan of Archaics sent Jason an email with some examples of September 23rd shown in the media. In the TV show Big Bang Theory, an asteroid is set to strike the Earth on September 23rd. In the movie Volcano, an asteroid hits the Earth on September 23rd. In the movie Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, an asteroid strikes Earth on September 23rd. In the movie Deep Impact, the meteorite is predicted to strike September 22nd, but the lotto numbers in the movie are September 23rd, or just 923. In the movie Evan Almighty, the date of the flood is September 22nd. In the movie Knowing, Earth is destroyed in a solar flare that lasts from September 22nd to 23rd. In the movie Little Shop of Horrors, the existence of humans is threatened by an event on September 23rd. In the movie Tomorrowland, the disaster strikes September 23rd. In the movie The Number 23, Jim Carrey states that hell arrives on September 23rd. In the movie Sleepy Hollow, a new dimension opens up on September 23rd. In Ghostbusters, the evil is released on the world on September 23rd. In the movie This is the End with Seth Rogen, the paparazzi video recorder shows the date 923 is when the rapture happens. In the movie Pandemic, Disaster strikes on the East Coast on September 23rd. In the movie Labyrinth, the evil consumes the world at 9.23 in the video. In the TV series Lost, the plane crashes on a remote island on September 22nd. In the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, the driver's license of the dead pilot reads 9.23. In the movie Gone Girl, September 23rd is used twice to depict the date of the disappearance. Rihanna has a music video showing a license plate with 923. 
In the video for Tainted Love, a meteorite hits Earth, then a horoscope shows the date, 923. In the video game Resident Evil, the invasion begins on 923. And the list goes on. As pointed out by Jason, the following movies are set in 2023. Avengers Endgame. To quote Jason, this movie takes place in the fall of 2023. In this movie, they're trying to undo some kind of apocalyptic deal. That's the subject matter of that movie. Gemini Rising. To quote Jason, Gemini Rising is another movie set in 2023. An unidentified spacecraft is found orbiting Neptune, and it was discovered that there are two different species of aliens. One of them is helping humans. This is set in 2023. The Purge Anarchy. To quote Jason, set in 2023. Why is this movie interesting? What do you think is going to happen when there's a total internet collapse? That's going to collapse other parts of the infrastructure as well. It will be just like the purge anarchy. The Tomorrow War. To quote Jason, set in 2023, this is about an alien species being on Earth and humans have to fight them off. This is one of the very few movies I've had time to sit down and watch. X-Men, Days of Future Past. To quote Jason, I was shocked when I read this. It's a tricky one. Most of the action of this movie takes place in the year 1973. From over 40 different video presentations that I have done, 1973 is the holographic isometric reflective year for 2023. This movie has a series of events that's going on in 1973, and at the same time, events are transpiring in 2023. Considering Jason's predictions for September 23rd, 2023, it might be time to get our technological ducks in a row before then. To quote Jason, in three different data sets, I have concluded that September 23rd is probably going to be a staged event that moves us closer to whatever. Maybe it will be a total worldwide collapse back into separatism, or a global fall in the United Nations that collapses the Euro, or all the nations are now independent with each other, or the start of a war in October. I don't know. It could be just the opposite. It could be the actual globalization of an entire new economic system. I don't know. All I'm predicting is that September 23rd will be the date when the change is going to be initiated. Errants unite. Do you know of any other September 23rd mentions in the media? What are your predictions for 9-23-2023? Please share in the comments below.